I am so excited to be here at the launch of STEM She Can Leadership and Mentoring Program. We are grateful that our school has been selected to be part of the program nationwide and especially as a venue for this launch. We wholeheartedly welcome the initiative and pledge our full support for it. This is where we choose to launch STEM She Can, not only because I'm an old girl, but because the president himself and the Honorable Minister of Education said, every girl secondary school is nominated to be a STEM school. So why not begin here? Exactly. You know what day today is, right? It is International Women's Day. Give yourselves a round of applause. I stand here again to wish you happy International Women's Day, which we are all part of it. It's not just by an accident that we are also launching this important program, STEM She Can, building the capacities and nurturing young women into womanhood, not just becoming a mother and bear children, and also take care of the household, but what she can do, add to herself, add value to herself, preparing herself to be the mother of the world. Not just your home, not just your society, but the world. It is no new news that women form the majority of the Ghanaian population. Hence, in order to drive inclusive governance and a systematic growth in STEM, we will need to increase the number of women. Today marks a turnaround. Every young lady here should know that there are many of us out there cheering you on and to let you know that yes, you can. Let's break the bias. Let's make this the normal and not an exception. This is the gap that STEM She Can wants to bridge to help us know that science is in all of us. That if you do visual arts, how can you incorporate STEM? How can you use it to up yourself and to help the society? This is what STEM She Can seeks to address and we hope to change the narrative and the reality. This is very, very dear to me, and we hope that we can bridge the gap that is existing in us. And I pray that today, you will believe that yes, STEM, she can. So I want to encourage you, whilst you're sitting here, whilst you start to figure out, what do I want to do in future? Just take inspiration from people around you. Take inspiration of people who have walked the path you've walked as well and know that if we can, then you can. Surely, STEM, she can. And on behalf of Specs for Life, we unveil this logo in the name of the Father, the Son, and then the Holy Spirit. Amen. My poem is entitled, Women in STEM. When we talk about the world's greatest scientists, we hear names like Albert Einstein, Isaac Newton, Archimedes. But have you ever thought of this? Where are the women? Where is Marie Curie? Where is Vera Rubin? Where is our very own Elsie Ifa Kaufman? Who said that only men can do it? Debunk the myth. Women can do it even better. Yes, it is time to break the bias. Yes, we can. STEM, she can. So today is the official launch of STEM, she can. An advocacy program for leadership and mentorship focusing on STEM education and careers for young women and girls across the country, all 16 regions. We started it at Ebri Girls Secondary School. We were joined by directors from GES, representatives of the Ministry of Education, including the Director of General Administration at the Ministry of Education. We had some old girls supporting us. We had Comfort, Academic City, UNESCO, and so many others coming to support the program and inspire the, the girls to even do more. 
So we had an amazing mentorship session. Some of the girls were looking at the banners that we raised for with girls who are in STEM and women who are in STEM careers already. And you can see the inspiration in their eyes. The questions that they ask, their participation, their interest. The mentors are even very, very surprised. And we are glad to do it. We can't wait to take it across the country. Today, I think, has been particularly successful because we can feel the energy of the students. Even the business students, even the visual arts students know that they play a critical role in STEM careers. We are partnering um, Specs for Life, uh, pursuing a hashtag uh, STEM She Can, and other initiatives in the STEM area to make sure that STEM is the household's name as far as our schools are concerned. It's, it's been an interesting program and it's actually been very encouraging to be here and see how the girls are excited by this opportunity. The interaction we had with the pilots, the female young pilots, really inspired me because like looking at the way she talked, the way she is, her personality, you could see that she is very young but I think she actually didn't listen to what um, the environment said or whatever that she encountered but she actually went in for what she wanted so I'm really inspired. Hey, um, on behalf of the school and management and the student body at large I'd like to say a big thank you to um, hashtag STEM she can for bringing this initiative and for also considering Ebri girls to be part of this big initiative is a, is a great honor for the school stem she can 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 stem she can